Hello everyone, how are you doing? Uh, today, wonderfully, uh, Reflection has come out and it's a 70 billion parameter model and normally I cannot run that unless I uh, use an online GPU which I normally don't like using but I've come into uh, a couple of A6000s and now I can start running uh, stuff that I want to run that I couldn't run before. So to run Olama, yeah, you just have to run Olama serve and then to download the model, Olama run reflection. The only one available right now is a 70 billion parameter model. And apparently this uh, little guy here, little guy here, is better than 3.5 from Sonnet and GPT-40. Now in actual testing, I actually have found that it is better but it is entertaining to use. So going on to, uh, uh, to demonstrate that, I created a bit of a chat window. As you can see here, when you get the outputs uh, on the actual chat window itself, let me just open up this, you can see it has these thinking tags. So I just said, hello. Um, ah, simple greeting. The user is likely trying to initiate a conversation or test if I'm functioning properly. My response should be friendly and inviting to encourage further interaction. Hello, uh, it's nice to meet you. Is there something I can help you with or would you like to chat? So that's interesting that it's done that. So one of the biggest problems that we've found with using large language models is it's not very good at reasoning. So one of the classic ones is um, if I have a marble and I have it in a cup and then I place the cup upside down and place, uh, place it on the table um, then I uh, pick up the cup and put it in the microwave where is the marble Okay, so normally large language models can't answer that because it'll start saying it's still in the cup because you put the marble in the cup and now you or else put you put it in the microwave and it's still in the cup. It never really fully processes what it should be doing. Now, as I understand it, GPT or sorry, Sonnet three point five does have a reasoning capability, but it still fails on this one quite often. A classic lateral thinking puzzle. Let's break it down step by step. The user starts with a marble in a cup, which means the marble is contained within the cup. Then they place the cup upside down on the table. Um, at this point, I should consider what happens to the marble. Pause. Aha. Since the cup is upside down, the marble would likely fall out of the cup and onto the table. So when the user picks up the cup and puts it in the microwave, the marble is actually still on the table. Wait a minute, I made an assumption about the marble falling out of the cup. What if the cup had a lid or uh, some other me mechanism that uh, kept the marble inside? In that case, my initial conclusion would be incorrect. But based on the information provided, it seems reasonable to assume a standard cup without any special features. The marble is likely still on the table. This is awesome. The fact that you can run this locally, if you have a Mac 3 or a Mac 2, you could probably download the model easily and start using it and just generate your own. Um, user interface. I prefer making my own ones rather than using what's on ChatGPT because at least you can actually expand it. Now, mine is not very good for um, uh, getting code generated, but you know, whatever. And oh yeah, also I can zoom in and zoom out if I want to get more information on the same page. I don't know why ChatGPT or OpenAI hasn't updated their GUI in the last two years. Anywho, this is um, wonderful and I'm really enjoying talking to it and it's awesome seeing the thinking tags and why it's coming to the conclusions that it is. Um, as I said again, it doesn't appear to be better than Sonnet 3.5. Um, I found that both of them are having difficulties making the snake game, which should be like almost built into these models at this point. Um, but still a wonderful thing to be playing with and I'm very happy. So um, I'll be back again with new stuff later on. Bye.